Hey girls, if you have marked your calendar to attend one of the biggest music festivals in the United States, like EDC, then you need to start picking out your outfit because it's almost here. EDC has moved to Vegas, so that means Vegas is going to be swarming with celebrities, famous DJs, and wild characters dressed in all the crazy rave gear. So let's kick it into high gear and find out what to wear. So our first look would actually be great for first timers. If it's your first time to a rave, or if you just like to look really cute and casual when you're heading to a rave, this is the perfect look for you. Um, and if you were a little nervous about jumping into the rave attire, maybe these shorts are a little too crazy for you, um, if you wanted to dress it down a little bit, you could pair it with your favorite jean shorts, or even uh, if you tend to be a little cold, um, you could wear jeans. But it is going to be in Vegas, that's the desert, and it tends to be really hot, but occasionally the temperature can drop drop in the nighttime. Um, so maybe bring a tiny little jacket out with you or just get your blood pumping by dancing a lot. Um, so these glitter sequin shorts are really fun. Um, they're definitely going to look great underneath all those lights. And Hello Kitty is a rave favorite. You're going to see a lot of HK all over the place. And so I decided to pair it with a little Hello Kitty purse as well. Um, now when you're bringing a purse to a rave, you want to make sure that it's one that you can either have on your shoulder or attach to your wrist because you're going to be doing a lot of dancing, bumping into people while you're walking through the huge crowds you definitely don't want a big bulky purse um, that you have to hold on your hand you might lose it it might get stolen you never know so one that you can have close to your body that's another reason why backpacks are so popular at raves because you can have your hands free to dance and um, hang out with friends have a drink take pictures whatever your hands are completely free um, so we also have a lot of cute Hello Kitty backpacks on the website here are pictures of some of my favorites And a key thing you want to think about when going to a rave is flat shoes. You're going to be covering a lot of ground. This is outdoors and there's tons of different places to go explore. So you're going to want to have comfortable shoes on and these boots are definitely comfortable and they still go with the look. Let's jump into look number two. So look number two may seem a little outrageous to you, but it's definitely for our raving veterans or someone who wants to go all out. Seriously, you can wear anything when you're at a rave. And if you're a little nervous about wearing something so crazy like this, personally, I love it. It would be really fun to coordinate with your friends. Um, I know I always feel more safe and comfortable when I have a friend with me, especially when we're twinners. So I went ahead and ordered matching outfits for me and Megan. Let me give her a call. She's actually supposed to be here already. Megan, where are you? I'm so ready to go to the rave. I'm right here. Oh, hey, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, these glasses are so dark. Um, love it. So as you can see, I can't even get these back on. We look fabulous. Um, and these are just like the really fuzzy outfits. You're going to see a lot of the people wearing at the rave. Rave! Anyways, <laughs> what I really like about this outfit is that it's really versatile. I mean, you can definitely double this outfit as like a Care Bear outfit for Halloween. Totally. Um, you could definitely take these pieces on their own and match them with other things. Like you could without the lights pair this over like your favorite pair of leggings i don't know it would be great for like an 80s party perhaps yeah, or I some mean, leggings you, or you could definitely wear this in yeah. more places than just so the rave. great um costume pieces that you can mix into different outfits throughout the years for different parties um and then also a key thing i wanted to point out again we are wearing flats uh, you're going to be covering a lot of ground at edc or any rave you go to so megan has these adorable I think that's the Blake boot, and it's in purple. And then look at these thigh high socks. Those are so cute. Those are actually leggings, right? Yeah, these are well, these are leg or warmers. Leg warmers. Yeah, they don't, they're not socks. Slim movement. So really cute. You could pair those over um, anything, really. Yeah. And then me, I have my fuzzies on. I got my fuzzies on. So I fell in love with these little fuzzy boot covers. And what's great about them is. 
you can wear anything underneath them. It doesn't really matter what shoe you wear because no one's really going to yeah. see it. Um, so I just have a flat little boot on. Um, you can even wear tennis shoes if you wanted to. So um, no one's going to know that you're wearing heels or not. So love them. Ooh, what would be great if you wanted to get the height um, but still wear tennis shoes, you could get those sketcher shoes that have like the little built-in workout stuff or whatever. The creeper boots. <laughs> the creeper boots. Yeah, those too. <laughs> so these are definitely the ultra cute, crazy way to go to a rave and now let's hop into look number three. So here we have look number three and again we're going crazy with it. Uh, really going to a rave is your chance to wear anything you want to wear. So maybe you have some shiny pants that have just been sitting in your closet because you have no idea where to wear them wear them to the rave and maybe pair them with that funky triangle top that matches. This is actually the same top that you saw Megan and I wearing with our fuzzy outfits and I decided to get a little fuzzy with it again with this adorable ring. It's seriously so soft. Um, and I don't think we mentioned it before, but you have to have sunglasses when you're going to a rave. Um, sometimes these huge parties can go all night and on into the daytime and maybe you didn't bring all your makeup with you and you might start looking like a hot mess. That's okay, the easy fix is to throw on your sunglasses and no one can tell, perfect. So I uh, gotta have the shades and then um, I just went crazy with the necklace. I thought why not be all blingy, it's gonna sparkle underneath all the lights and uh, I paired it with some comfortable combat boots. Now these are like combat meets chic. They are so cute and so comfortable. You can run a mile on these if you wanted to or dance a mile, whatever. <laughs> Let's get into our last and final look. So for our last look, this is definitely rave gone sexy. Um, this would be great, say if you guys had a table or if you're really bold and you want to show some skin. This is a skin tight neon pink dress. It's going to glow underneath the black light and so are your arm warmers. And what's great is these actually double as leg warmers. So pick a part of your body you want to warm up and put them there. <laughs> and then, oh my god, we can't forget the shoes. These are like MJ shoes gone rave. They're glittery, they're sparkly, they're comfortable. You can dance around in them, you can do whatever you want. So, uh oh, can't forget the fabulous feather earrings. These are awesome. They're super light, they're not gonna bug you at all because you, I don't even feel like I'm wearing them. And they just pull the entire outfit together. I love the colors. I have to have these. So anyways, that's it. So in closing, I wanna leave you with some wacky words of wisdom to have a great time at EDC. Don't take drinks from strangers or anything for that matter. And then also you want to maybe install the buddy system. You'll feel a lot safer when walking to your car late at night or just running around the huge carnival. Wear some comfortable shoes and make sure above all that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching girls. I hope you have a blast.